Hey guys, just want to make a quick review here. This is the Innova 3150F. Um, just a quick little thing here. I am not sponsored and not being paid by Innova to do this. This is my opinion and you can go from there. You can use it however you want. But anyway, so first thing we have here is, you know, just your basic interface. You got anything you got your DTC codes this also has a ABS and SRS systems so as I turn it on you'll see these lights down here system status and you know basically what this means if the system is ready or not I haven't got really into it but um yeah let's go ahead and plug it in also, if you can't find where the DLC is, it has a locator right here. So, right now I'm in a 2007 Saturn Aura. So, let's check it out and see how it works. see we get the little flashing of pretty much where it's at so anyways let's get back to it and you got your basic connector like everything else it's got a little flashlight on it so it's pretty cool if it's in the dark you know things are hard to find but let's go ahead and give it a shot okay you'll see right away get a screen pop up and it'll automatically find your VIN and everything the only thing it wants to know is uh, what type of transmission you have. So right here we got an automatic. Is this your vehicle? So if you say yes, it'll store pretty much your vehicle codes and everything. So if you do unplug it, you can always go back and see what you've had. So let's go see. So transmission input speed does not change by more than 500 RPM for two seconds. I bought this car with a uh, pretty messed up transmission, so yeah, that's uh, that was expected. But let's see. Got one out of four codes. Repair immediately. Yeah. A couple more things. Control module output speed sensor circuit but anyways let's go back to the menu so just pretty much to go back I just press the M and then we get all kinds of stuff so let's go ahead and shut the car off another thing we can do is as you can see here it's got an oil reset oh, come on okay get an oil reset right here and it'll tell you how to reset the the oil life cycle and as you can see you get pretty good description the thing that I don't really like is it doesn't do it for you which I don't think there is one out there that'll do it for you but it is what it is so you get your battery reset and then the good thing about this is you get a, a uh, battery and alternator monitor. So you can test out your battery. So let's give it a shot and see what we come up with. Okay, the vehicle must be prepared for battery health check. The vehicle's not moving. Transmission must be in part to neutral. Okay, we've done everything. Visual inspection of the battery, damage or corroded, replace. Okay, battery's good. Battery not sealed. Okay. And this does not apply for hybrid and electric. Okay, once we got it, let's pretty much say yeah by pressing the continue. Okay, so it's telling me to 
Turn on the headlights. Let's go ahead and do that. Then we'll press continue. Let's see what it does. Just a little countdown. Okay, turn off the headlights and press continue. Please full charge battery before go to battery health check. Okay, so I'm sure there's something up with the battery. I mean, we're getting into winter here in Utah, so I mean, it probably, I, I didn't check the battery, so we'll just go from there. Okay, then you got your trip cycle procedures. Uh, apparently they're not available for this car. Firmware, tool library, I believe they, yeah, you get a description of what everything means. So these little symbols right here on the, on the left over here, you can get them just by pressing the DTC button. As you can see, this this car is already ready. Pretty much everything is cleared. Well, it's not cleared, but um, you get what it means. It's uh, it'll check if everything's ready for emissions. Pretty much with every Innova product. So right here again, the status. When there's a problem with it, usually get a, a red light down here. When there's a car that that's pretty good to go, give you a green light here. So that's a pretty fast way of checking, you know, so you don't waste time and money when you go down to do your emissions. Usually on the yellow, I believe that means the car's not ready. Um, pretty much they've reset the battery, or I mean the computer, by disconnecting the battery or something like that. But, yeah, just be aware if you're going to use this to go purchase a vehicle make sure that you know it's on the green you don't get a red or a yellow but I do believe the red means you have a diagnostic trouble code and then right here as we press this symbol with the nest with the arrows here's where you can get your ABS and SRS so let's try the ABS Okay, so this is a one in the past, I believe. It says history off to the side, so. Yeah, I did find that this will give you a description of the history. So, just be aware. Here's a SRS. Let's give that a shot. No SRS DTC, so SRS are good to go. But um, if you were to want to erase the codes, let's go back to DTC. There we go. As you can see, all the codes I have. If you were to erase it, you just press this red button over here. I am going to be working on this vehicle, so... I don't want to erase them right now, but even if you were to disconnect it, you know, we'll turn it back off, turn it back on, and let's uh, let it reboot real quick. So as you can see, it just saves everything that there was, see, uh, there's uh, ABS, and then... Here's our four codes. So that's the pretty cool thing about it. I mean, if you don't, if you just want a little description about it, and you can take this down, search it up on the computer, whatever you want. Okay, guys, I went ahead and uh, cleaned the battery terminals in this car, so I can show you exactly how the battery test works. So let's give it a shot. Okay, so I 
again we'll go down to battery battery monitor yes continue it's okay so it tells us to turn on the headlights we'll go ahead and start the timer headlights are on there we go headlights okay continue start engine three times press continue so imagine one two three press continue battery status is good so I'm not sure how accurate it is but that's pretty much how it's done. So what I did like about it was um, pretty much the free lifetime software updates. Um, can't get any better than that in my case. Um, it works really fast, so I did like that about it. And it's really simple to use. What I didn't like, however, was the fact that it doesn't show any live data which is pretty crucial in most cases but um, that's the only thing I didn't like about it other than that it's pretty good as far as scan tools go but anyway if you like this video please hit that like button share and consider subscribing I will have more videos up later on but um, alright guys thank you